teeming among the things around us are millions of unseen organisms, among which are certain pests called mites. These are found in an incredible variety of habitats, although usually they pass unnoticed due to their small size. Although a great number are free-living, many have made a name for themselves as parasites. Demodex follicularum and brevis have been recognized for over a century, and several decades ago were already noted to be associated with blepharitis. They are found especially on the face and eyelashes, with Demodex follicularum inhabiting the lash follicle, and Demodex brevis leaving deeper in the sebaceous glands. As ophthalmologists, we have all seen crusty eyelids and eyelashes. Terms like seborrheic blepharitis and staphylococcal blepharitis must be familiar, but only recently has attention returned to demodex mites. So why do we have this discrepancy in the coverage of something that has been recognized for decades? For the longest time, demodex mites became a niche phenomenon, known by dermatologists, but dismissed as nothing but commensals. Possible reasons for this include their ubiquity. Their lack of visibility also makes it all too easy for doctors to dismiss them. Let's take a look at how we can easily smoke the pesky mites from their hideout. The traditional way of presenting demodex mites involves epilation, and then mounting the lashes on a microscope slide.